All right, I was asked to explain um, how this Eagle Tree FPV tracker works and what you need to, uh, what kind of Eagle Tree equipment you need to make it work. So let's just do a quick rundown of the parts uh, required to make this tracker work. First of all, you need a GPS receiver, the Eagle Tree GPS receiver. Um, you need the Eagle Tree OSD Pro. You need the data logger. Uh, mine's a V4. I think probably a V3 would be fine too. And the usual uh, camera and transmitter. Uh, so what what happens? Oh, this is also the FPV station, and of course the tracker with a 12 dBi antenna and the stock antenna with the diversity. So basically, what happens is the camera video is sent to the OSD Pro, which overlays the telemetry on the video, plus lays uh, or embeds the GPS coordinates into the video which is sent to the transmitter then received by the receivers sent to the FPV station which decodes that information and drives the two servos on the head so the head is driven the FPV uh, Eagle Tree tracker is driven by embedded uh, GPS coordinates in the video. Uh, you need you need the OSD Pro, a data logger, the GPS unit for it, the FBV station, and a tracker. Uh, you could probably build your own tracker, I guess, um, if you wanted to, but this is a lot simpler. Uh, I was also asked, will the FPV or yeah, the FPV uh, FY20A and its OSD, will it work with the Eagle Tree stuff uh, or the tracker? The answer is no, it's completely different. As far as I know, uh, it's not compatible at all. The FPV station, the diversity part of it would probably work if you wanted to run uh, two receivers and two antennas. Uh, you, it would probably still work for the video signal, uh, but as far as that goes, you, you the list of things again are the GPS, the OSD Pro, uh, data logger, um, the FPV station, and the FPV tracker. I uh, hope that answers some of your questions. Good luck.